What's up basketball fans? I'm in Manila right now and today's episode of Three Point Contest is brought to you by the City Club. So shout out to Kuya Nick Velasco, the legend from PBA for letting me use the court. And for my guy Justin, who's driving me, who drove me to the City Club. Uh, don't forget to follow his Instagram at KicksMVP. So let's go to today's episode against Bea Dias. What's up basketball fans? Welcome back with me Rocky Padilla and today I have the first girl on my YouTube <laughs> channel. Her name is Bea Dias. Hey, How you doing Bea? So Bea is from Philippines. She is the Corsa reporter for Ala Filipinas, but she is also a baller. She used to be the leading scholar at the UP, right? UP. UP Maroons? U University of Philippines. Philippines. Yeah, okay. Right. And then Bea, how did you get how do you like how, when did you start liking basketball? Well, I have seven brothers, so growing up, basketball was already instilled in our family. We have a basketball court at home, so it started out there, and then I eventually started playing like formally in my school, starting grade school, and ever since, I just never stopped. But when did you know that you got a game, so you should play <laughs> in the UAAP? Oh, I guess since I was young, playing in my house, I just fell in love with the sport. I would, I loved watching it and even loved it more playing every day after school, when I was still in grade wow. school, so I don't know, I guess it just became my passion. Basketball is your first love? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so you know transitioning from playing basketball to basketball analyst and also first I reported. Yeah. So why, why do you like, uh, how do you like it being a reporter and also an analyst? Um, well, when I was young, I was watching all those courtside reporters in the UAAP and I was like, mm, I think I'd want to be one when I grow up eventually, but then I never really thought that it would happen because I was always scared and camera shy, but when the opportunity came to me, I just grabbed it and I'm really happy because I guess it shows other people that, you know, ballers can, girls can play basketball too and we can also we also know so much about the sport and we can share it with others and I think it brings up a lot of awareness that you know there are a lot of girl basketball players especially in the Philippines where it's mostly like a guy mostly known as a guy sport so uh, hopefully it makes people know more about the talent in female basketball it's tough though right being an analyst and reporter yeah definitely it's completely <laughs> different for um, being a part-time reporter, when I was young, I've always wanted to be okay. one. So um, I, I usually know like how to approach the game since I was also once a player. Uh, being a basketball analyst, though, I never thought about it in my <laughs> life. So when they offered it to me, I was like, oh my gosh. But um, I guess it's different because you have to look at the game in a wider perspective compared to when I was playing, it's just about, you know, make, making sure that we win. About getting everything. buckets. <laughs> it's all about getting buckets. No! <laughs> Not just about that. <laughs> no, but yeah. So it's completely different. But uh, I like it because I appreciate the game even more since you look at it in a wider perspective. So, yeah. so I heard you're still playing so how often you're still playing basketball now? Well, I don't have a team now. so. Sadly, after college basketball, there's not much tournaments for females, at, except if you join the national team, of okay. course. But um, now I just play for fun with my friends. So pick up basketball like around once or twice a week. And beating so your brother, so? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, but they're too big now. So. They're too big. <laughs> so I heard you still have a goal of playing for the national team. Can yes. you share about it? Okay, so it's my dream to play for the national team. Um, Ever since I was young, at first it was like college basketball, play in the UAAP, but I think that since for girls in the Philippines, like the highest is the, the national team. And since I love basketball so much, and I think that I was given the talent also to play, uh, I'd want to share it also with all my fellow kababayans, you know, so yeah, love basketball. So. The coach to the coach to the national team, woman team. <laughs> Don't forget to call her up, no. call her up. So because you you gotta see her shooting threes after this. Has to shoot. I have to win. <laughs> she says she wanna win, but she, she knows the rule though. Ten shots. Ten shots. You anywhere. 
Big one spot though. One spot. Just one spot. Just one spot. Okay. Loser. Gonna run suicide. I feel, I feel bad if she runs suicide, but she's in shape though. She'll be okay. Shape, so, it's so it's okay. You can see her build. She got <laughs> she got she got more muscle than me. So you pick a spot. Where do you want to shoot at? Left wing. Left wing. Okay, we're going to the left wing. How about you? Left wing too. I'm going with you. Okay. I'll show you where you should shoot from. So we're gonna move the camera. Get ready. Okay. Let's go. I got run suicide. Could have got an eight. I know. <laughs> she almost got an eight record. Cause my re the record of my video is seven. So we should beat it. We should beat it. <laughs> but she's shooting with. Give it to her though. She's shooting with a man's ball. So it's it's bigger. A bit. Yeah. But she's strong though. She got muscles. <laughs> but now it's the fun part. I gotta run suicide. Has to be in thirty seconds. Oh. All right. Here we go. Every episode I had to run suicide. Oh my god. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Super fun. So tell them where you, they can follow you on Instagram. Okay, so you can follow me at Vegas on Instagram and on Twitter and even on Facebook. Oh, follow her. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys, appreciate this. Yeah. So I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.